there. Look, I want to see you build a computer this fast. I remove the hard drive. Okay, this was my mistake. I call timeout. I call timeout. Okay. Pause. We can timeout. Here's the sitch. Every iPhone from the 6 onward has supported some form of fast charging, from 10 watts all the way up to over 20 watts on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. The only problem is that the included brick charger at 5 watts maxes out at less than a quarter of that. Why Apple does this? We'll never know for sure, but our sponsor for today, Anchor, wants to show you that there's another way. They issued me a challenge. Me versus their tiny phone charger in a race to see which comes first. Me building a gaming PC or this iPhone reaching 69% battery plugged into their nano wall charger. Man, we are really scraping the bottom of the barrel for video ideas at this point, aren't we? But I do want to see who wins. In this corner, Anchor's new Nano Charger. It's a cute little brick about the same size as the 5 watt Apple charger, but with four times the maximum output. That's right, this tiny thing will do up to 20 watts, which is actually more than Apple's bigger 18 watt charger. In this corner, a gaming PC that I'm gonna build. Nope, don't worry, Colin, I got it. I just need to, oh, oh my God, what's in here? Hold on. What is in here? It's not like water cooled or something, is it? Ah! Gaming computer that I'm gonna build. All we need to do real quick here is get all these phones plugged in. So do I have to beat the first phone to 69% or the last one? You have to beat the iPhone 11. I have to beat the iPhone 11. Okay, but we've also got a 10S Max and uh, an S20 5G. As soon as I press this, it goes, right? As soon as you press that. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, lordy, okay, it's going. Is that minutes or seconds? That seems to be minutes. Well, it's minutes now. It's minutes now. Okay, if you guys were wondering if they're all actually dead, there's your evidence. What is this? G-Track simulator cockpit. Is this not a computer? No, oh, it's a computer. I don't understand what's going on here. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Hold on a second. Let's put it on the ground. <laughs> Are we sure this is working? Well, it started. It's only gone up one though. Has it been only a minute? Oh shoot, yeah, it's working. Aorus all-in-one liquid cooler. Well, this definitely isn't an actual UPS because they're much heavier than that. Corsair power supply. A main gear vibe. But that's a pre-built computer. And whatever's in here. Am I just being trolled here, you guys? According to my briefing notes here, I'm expected to build, cable manage, and post this system before the phone reaches 69%. And apparently there's a prize if I win and a punishment of some sort if I lose. Knowing my staff, the prize is probably nothing special and the punishment probably really sucks. So I'm gonna have to push pretty hard here to try and win this. So in this box, we've got a motherboard, a graphics card, an SSD, a CPU, so this is all starting to make a little bit more sense now, except for the fact that this is a pre-built computer. And also there's a case over there. What is going on here? What is this? Why is this in here? Is this just to be heavy and mess with me? Yes. Are you serious? Yeah. Ah! We've apparently gone with the Mastercase Maker 5T, which presumably we're using because we found it in the warehouse in usable condition. How much time do I have? Holy crap, it's at 7%. I have only just unboxed things. Okay, we need to go a little faster here. RAM is apparently uh, just in the motherboard box. That's how motherboards come these days. Okay, how tidy do I have to be? It's someone else's job to clean this up when I'm done, right? Yep. Okay, sick. Then we're just going, we're going full ham bone here. No, we're not. We're gonna stay organized because I don't want this stuff sitting in the warehouse with half the accessories missing. Get, just get in there! All right, CPU. We got a Ryzen 7 3800X. It's a good, uh, good CPU for gaming and mm, content creation, you know, mid-range kind of good, good, good CPU. It's gonna go in there. All right, four sticks of RAM. You guys are, you guys are really stretching out the build time here. Got some Trident Z Neo 3600 C14. Wow, this is really nice memory to have banging around inside a motherboard box. 
Okay, cool. Why would you guys give me a case that locks? I feel like I'm being set up here. Both sides lock. Here's a probably unintended bit of help that they gave me. Because someone built in here before, presumably, some of the cable management's already like kind of done, so I'm gonna take advantage of that. There's a hard drive in here. Why is there a hard drive in here? Did you even know there was a hard drive in here? No idea. Is removing the hard drive part of my task? <gasps> Let's put it in our SSD. <laughs> Come on! Ah! Do I have to put in all the screws? Nope. Okay. Motherboard's getting one screw, boys. Oh yeah. We're at 18%. 18%? Yep, 51 to go. Motherboard, CPU, RAM, and SSD are all in the case, but that's not the time-consuming part of a project like this. This is the time-consuming part of a project like this. So let's go ahead and throw this, I don't know what, front mount? Ooh, that looks like it might be more challenging. Let's do a top mount. We're going top mount here today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Okay. Okay, so that's, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna put these screws back in here now and I'm gonna mount it straight to here. Not bother to pull this out. I don't think that's gonna save me any time anyway. Where are my fans? Shoot, AI yeah, always takes so long. Wait, it's got RGB? I can't possibly be expected to wire up RGB lighting. What are we at for clock? We're at 11.40 on the clock, and on the phone, we're at 26%. 26%. Do I go for the simpler method of mounting it, where I just have to screw the radiator in from the top and then screw the fans in from the other side, but I need to put in twice as many screws, or do I go for the method that's more complicated to line up, but takes half as many screws. We're going more complicated to line up, half as many screws. Wait. Uh, this does not fit. I call timeout, I call timeout. Okay. Pause. We can timeout. Uh, thicker fans might cause an additional problem in that I won't have screws long enough to go through them into the rad. Okay. In, in any here. case, I don't think these are 25 millimeters thick. As far as blame goes, I think Aorus shoulders at least some for shipping fans that are slightly thinner than the industry standard 25 millimeter, but I'm mostly putting this on Cooler Master. There's a little lip up here in the top that just by a couple of millimeters interferes with mounting a radiator here, meaning that the only way to mount a rad is to put it in the front of the case, something we didn't anticipate. So I am requesting a two minute opposite whoa, of a time penalty. Whoa, I want two whoa. minutes to rectify this wrong. Okay, this was my mistake. Yes. I'll give you one and a half minutes. A minute and a half. I'll take it. Okay. All right. Start a minute and a half timer, and then we will resume charging and start the timer again. And go. All right. Joke's on these guys. I put these thumb screws in while the uh, timer wasn't running. It's a cheater. Look, I need all the help I can get. This is not fair so far. Okay, I just need this crap out of my way. What is, wait, what's in here? There's a coax cable in here. And time. So I wasted my extra time opening up that garbage box. Sure did. Unbelievable. Come off. Who uses this old fetish and hip system anymore? You know, when you asked me what screwdriver I wanted for this project, what I should have said was, motorized one. And mounting at the front actually saves me some hassle with this AIO cooler. Those Gigabyte fans are weird, like they're skinnier in some spots and thicker in other spots, and mounting them is a bit of a pain in the butt. So I'm just gonna use the stock fans that came with the case. And I'm gonna put those on my radiator. After I remove the hard drive cage. Oh my God, how does it come that? out? Let's see where we're at. How does it come out? We're 31%. All right. Look, I know Gamers Nexus might not like how I'm mounting the radiator, okay? Where the bubbles are gonna get in the pump. I don't have time for that right now. And I obviously can't put it in this way, so. 
We're rolling with it. Oh my God. This is really hard to line up because you can't see the holes in the case because the fan sits in front. This also saves me wiring up the RGB. I heard that. Loosen them all a little bit now so I can get this last one through. Just get in there. It's too high, it doesn't line up. Okay, that's fine. It still doesn't go down. Why not? Why? Why this? What just fell off of it? Everything lines up if we come down slightly. It's just the unnecessariness of all of this. You know, if you think about it, every case should probably go through like a, a speed build challenge as part of the development process because that's where you really find like the aggravating stupid stuff that makes no sense, you know? You're 21 and a half minutes in and we're at 42%. The good news is that in order to protect their battery, phones will only charge at that maximum rate for a short duration. So it should continue to slow down as we go here. We're getting close now. The AIO is mounted. That's one of the big scary things. Next up, power supply. Ah, it smells like new power supply. Seems a good time as any to see how you're doing. Uh, I actually really didn't want to know right now. 52%, you got 17 to go. You know what, Mr. Power Supply? You're getting two screws. JK, I'm putting in all four screws. Power Supply is one of the heaviest components of the system. It should always be properly secured. Graphics card power, CPU power. Does this case require a Molex? It does, Molex. And save ourselves a little bit of time by pre-attaching all the modular cables like this. And in we go. Do I have a monitor? If I'm expected to post this thing, yeah, do I have monitor's a monitor? monitor's right there beside the sink. See, this is where you start making careless mistakes. Had my front panel oriented incorrectly. That cost me at least five seconds. And then power LED, hard drive LED, I believe power's on top, yes. This is a good little trick, you just hold them all one spot together, plug the whole block in. And uh, they don't get to open the uh, side panel when they're judging the cable management, do they? Correct. Okay. Huh. Ha. <laughs> do you want to know how far you have? Oh, not especially. I'm just going to do me here. RTX 20, what is this, 2080 Super? Yep. Yeah. So basically just a prop now, you know? It still looks pretty. Here. Okay, minus you have 6% left. 6%? We're at 63? Yep. Just go on! Easy peasy. These are symmetrical. I actually want to post it first, though, before I put these on. Now, do I have a power cable for that? No, I do. Wanted another penalty. <laughs> You're reaching straight for the lifelines, aren't you now? Look, I want to see you build a computer this fast. Uh, ow! <laughs> Who's laughing over there? Okay. 65. Can I go here? Show me the post. Ooh, I got a few things not plugged in here. 66. Shh, not helping. So I never plugged in my pump. Never plugged in my fans to the AIO cooler. Oh, well, my fan's spinning. What, what about this one? Why is this one not spinning? There it is. SATA. Power for it is like over here. Oh, what a stupid place for it. That's 68. Um, what's going on? I don't need it. I'm just gonna take this off. This panel needs to go in. Where are the damn keys? And 69. Where are the keys? Time. No, no, it counts. It counts. Side panels, it's on. Get on there. Oh, no. You hit it so hard it rebooted. Posted. It's re just posting again to show how much it can do it. It's still 69, it's not 70. And now it's 70. Well, now it's done. Please post again. I'm a little worried I might have whacked it too hard there. So we have our two judges, Anthony and David. Yep. Th thank you for coming down. Um, we're uh, looking at Linus's cable management and determining whether it's satisfactory, whether he did a good enough job to, uh, to win his prize. 
a prize is a A&W Teen Burger. <laughs> when did we order that? Uh, that was ordered about 30 minutes ago. Oh, okay. And if he loses, he has to drink a durian bubble tea. Yeah. That's disgusting. Oh. So you guys are the deciding factor. Would you consider this cable management to be adequate? Well, how can I tell? It's closed and locked up. Do you want to open up the front for us? You told me I didn't have to open it. The front, not the back. <laughs> Would you be satisfied with this on a day-to-day -day basis? <laughs> I might not be the right person to ask. Uh, I don't have my front USB or reset or hard drive read button cables plugged in, so I'm not a... I'm at one end of the cable management spectrum. You chose a really good judge. <laughs> Thanks, Colin. We're only judging this side. Can you just answer the question, David? Yes, yes, Would you be happy with this on a day-to-day -day yeah. basis? Yeah, that'd be super yeah! happy. Yeah! Woo! That's one half of the judge. <laughs> no, it doesn't look too bad from this side. There's, uh, there's a bit of a mess down in the basement here, but you're not going to be looking at that. I mean, yeah, I mean, as far as, like, day-to-day -day use, why not? You're not, your airflow's not impeded. You've got no mess to speak of that you can really see. So yeah, I mean, why not? Linus, it was down to the line, but I think you, you earned that. Yay, I get a burger instead of durian sludge. And to my American friends out there, Canadian A&W is nothing like American A&W. They are completely different companies. I would not eat an American A&W teen burger. They're disgusting. Now that the challenge is over, we can take a look at our results in more depth. We've actually paused our charging here. It looks like our S20 made it to just shy of 60%, 59%, 64% on our 10th gen iPhone, and then of course, 69% on our iPhone 11 in about 40 minutes. So it's pretty darn impressive for a little tiny charger like this one. So guys, check out their Nano Charger as well as their other mobile accessories like this new iPhone Fast Charging Essentials Kit. It's got a C to C cable, a C to Lightning cable, and this is pretty cool. This wart is about the size of the MacBook one, except it's got two ports on it. So you can do your MacBook and your iPhone or iPad or whatever else at the same time. They've also got battery banks and all kinds of good stuff. Thanks again to Anchor for sponsoring this challenge. If you guys enjoyed it, you might also enjoy this video called, I love building computers, where I build six computers in a row as fast as I can. Well, the first couple I sandbagged a little because I wanted to make sure I could keep improving, but by the end, I'm going full tilt. It's stressful. <laughs>